Welcome, my name is Kara. This is going to be a gentle flow for you to reconnect back into your body, back into your breath, and reconnect with your roots. You can find a comfortable seat on the floor. You could also do this laying in your bed. So this is going to be a practice that's very gentle, very slow, and there's no right or wrong way to do this. The important part is that you feel comfortable and know that you have choices so you can explore movement, you can explore breath, and everything I share with you is optional. So wherever you are, find a comfortable seat. You could start sitting or you could also start lying down on your back. And as you start to check in with your body, if you're sitting, you can look down at the floor Maybe you even close your eyes and you'll take a cleansing breath into your nose. Exhale out your mouth, <sighs> releasing any holding. Do this one more time. Breathe in and let it go. <sighs> now your breath returns to a rhythm that's natural and comfortable for you. And start to check in. Notice how you feel in this moment. Notice how your body, your breath, your heart feels. Not necessarily trying to make sense of anything, but rather observing. And then now begin to check in with your breath. How are you breathing? There's no right or wrong way here. And if you'd like, you might even place a hand over your heart and the other over your belly. And you explore this rhythm of breath. Perhaps it starts to lengthen. It expands. Breathing in, breathing out. And take another few breaths like this. You might experience an expansion as your navel rises. And as you exhale, feeling the navel draw gently in towards your spine. reconnecting with your breath in this moment. Okay, and now if the hands are resting on your body, you can go ahead and release them. If the eyes are closed, you can start to open them up and begin to check in. Notice your external surroundings. Take your gaze over to something towards the right, a little bit close and observing the shape, the color, the texture. And now I'll take your gaze over towards the left. And you might even start to look at something that's a little bit farther away. Maybe even look out a window. If you have a window, you might notice the trees outside or the blue sky. And then taking your awareness around the room, kind of experiencing and noticing all the different things, not trying to make sense of anything, but being an observer. And then now I'll start to come back, come back here in this moment. Take a breath in, let it go. And now if you're in a seat, we're going to switch the cross of the leg. So if you're laying down, you might start to come back up. And we're going to be in a seat for just a little bit and we'll move the spine. We start to take our awareness inward. You can let the hands rest on your legs and you're going to start to come forward and back, undulating your spine and allowing your movement 
to be in sync with the rhythm of your breath. Your inhale, you're coming forward, maybe even tilting your chin up. And then exhale, round your spine, tucking in, drawing your chin in, moving with your breath. Exploring invites spaciousness, curiosity. Okay, and go ahead and rise back up and Lengthen through the top of your head and then take your left hand over to the left side and reach for your right hand, place it over the heart. And then you're gonna walk your left hips, the tips of your fingers over and then start to draw the shoulder back. Maybe even take your gaze up as long as it feels okay and comfortable for the neck. And if you want to stay here, you're more than welcome to, but you can also explore. Maybe you take an arm up and over. It might feel nice to take your hand to the back of your head and draw your elbow and shoulder back. Try to avoid taking too much weight into the left hand, keeping both of your sit bones rooted down. And then you're going to inhale and reach both of your arms up really nice and tall and then start to move over to the other side take the right hand over and then maybe this left arm is reaching up and back perhaps the hands on the heart and explore the spaciousness on your left side breathing here in and out of your nose couple of more breaths here. Explore how it feels to fill your rib cage with breath, vitality, and on your inhale when ready, both of the arms are coming up and then palms are coming together and bring it down at your heart. Nice, okay, and now we'll go ahead and extend your legs. They're gonna come out in front of you. So I'm sitting up on top of a blanket. And then as you take your legs out, you can have also a blanket. You might also have another support to go underneath your knees. I'm gonna roll a blanket up and place it here. And then take your hands so they come behind you and maybe your fingertips are pointing away from the body and draw your shoulders onto your back lift up with your heart and then maybe you even start to tilt your head a little bit back and your gaze may go up staying rooted in your seat with your breath here, filling the whole body, expanding and contracting. Your breath is the most important part of your practice. Okay, start to release, nice. And then you can take your hands anywhere you'd like. They could rest on the legs, maybe they're by your sides. You can also keep them a little bit back behind you and begin to explore movement in the feet and the toes. You can start to point and flex. If you want a little more energy in this practice, you could even lift up the legs, engaging your muscles, but you might choose to keep the heels on the floor. And then now start to take your feet opening and closing. Maybe you even notice how this feels all the way up to the hip. Okay, nice. And then release. And you're going to start to draw the right knee in. And you can pull it up in towards you and it can sit right on the inside of the left leg. 
extend through your spine, you're breathing here, and then you're going to come into a twist with the right hand behind you. And you can start to look over the back shoulder, maybe even take the eyes over the right shoulder. Mindful that you're not straining or forcing the shape. And once you've arrived, explore this breath and it, the way that it moves within your body, between your shoulder blades. Okay, when ready, you're going to release. And then take your right leg next to the left. And pause briefly. Note the difference between the right and the left leg. When you're ready, you'll take the other leg in. And you're going to stick it to the inside of the right leg. Extend. Take your left hand behind you and then you can start to twist. You can also have this knee a little bit further away. So in this practice, it's not about what the pose looks like, more so rather how does this feel for you in this moment? Can you listen intuitively to what your body is saying? As you're here in your twist, invite a little bit of ease. Where can you release and soften in your face? Perhaps even unclenching your jaw. And your breath slow and steady. Okay, very slowly, when you're ready, you're going to release and take the left leg, send it down the mat next to your right. You can point and flex at your feet. Okay, we're gonna move the props off to the side and come to lie down on your back. You come to lie down onto your back. Maybe you even have a blanket under your head and you might even start to rock your knees a little here side to side. Any organic natural movements. And then when ready, You'll start to draw both of the legs and the knees up towards you. Maybe you even give yourself a hug. You can rock side to side. And take your hands to your knees. Press them away from the body and then back towards you. Continue this gentle movement forward and back. Breathing in and breathing out. And then slowly now start to take circles with your knees. They can go over to one side and then towards you over to the other side. These could be big circles or little circles. And then slowly now start to explore the other way. Nice. And now slowly, you can start to extend your legs down the mat. You might have a blanket to place underneath the backs of your knees. 
And we're going to take a moment here, a couple of minutes in our final resting shape, Shavasana. So always taking at least some bit of your practice to slow down and embody the work that you've done. Perhaps the arms rest by your sides with the palms up. Maybe you close the eyes, but you're more than welcome to leave them open. And take a full cleansing breath into the nose. Let any remaining obstacles out. <sighs> full release. Now this is an invitation to slow down and release. Allow the support of the earth to hold you. Breathing in and breathing out. We'll be here for about another minute or so. Start to note the sounds that you hear around you. And bring the awareness closer. Notice your body and the shape. Maybe you start to rock your head side to side, making micro movements. You're going at a pace that's comfortable for you. So if your body is asking you to stay a little bit longer, then explore that. As you start to invite movement back, you can start to roll onto your side, pausing, noting the difference in how you feel. And then slowly rise up. Once you come upright, pause here to honor yourself for taking the time to show up. You might place a hand over the heart and the other over your belly and acknowledging that your efforts are more than enough. You are here, you are present, you are whole and honoring that space within you. Thank you for letting me guide you in this beautiful practice. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Wishing you peace, peace, perfect peace on your journey. Thank you.